All right. Once again, we want to give up praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. A double honor to the elders of GMS, all the brothers around the world that are pushing this truth in sincerity and in truth, you know? Yeah. Hey, we're out here once again to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the 12th tribe of Israel, right? Um, and to, to expose these, these, these fake ass pastors. These fake ass philosophers, you know, we are the true men that the Most High put out here according to the scripture, right? To wake up our people. And when I say wake up our people, we are only talking about 144,000 men, right? Chosen men that the Most High have selected before the foundation of the earth, right? The two third must be put to death. These other nations, the, the top nation, which is Esau, must be put to death also and go into captivity and build back our kingdom, right? Now, we're gonna debunk some of the lies that they were telling us and still telling our people, right? Because they, they have a major thing right now in, in Trinidad, they're talking about the street preacher. But according to the scripture, the most I tell us to come out here on the highways and byways and do his will and bid his elect to come back in compel them to come back in all right now there's a certain time an acceptable time that the most i have chosen to bring in each man all of us would not come in same time all right so um give me give me first first Corinthians, second Corinthians, chapter two and four Four and two, eh? Right? Second Corinthians four and two. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse two. Yes. But I renounced the hidden things of dishonest, not walking in crafty. So it said this, uh, this, this, uh, this. Um, what is it? This now? No. So renounce, right? To renounce, meaning to come out here and expose these wicked ass people with their philosophy, right? What we renouncing, we telling them that hey, we are the true Israelite, the, the, the true people of the Mosai, the chosen men. You understand? Read about one more time, man. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse two. What have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty? Of what dishonesty? Right? Because one, of, let us get into some of the things them that is dishonest that they have told our people. Right? Like, for instance, they say that the, 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 the children of Israel is do away with. We are no more, we don't exist no more on the face of the earth. The most I do away with is people. Let us see what the scriptures say. Give me, please, he asked these chapter 4 and 16. Right? And, and they're still preaching from this, this scripture. You understand? Hey, first, I want to actually apologize. To you brothers that um, actually was looking for video and we wasn't doing any video our, our camera was down but now to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai it's up and running you know so we'll be putting out back video week in and week out but we, we never stop we never cease from coming out to do the works we always out here doing the works you know yeah go ahead God. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 16 uh -huh. There is no end of all the people There is no end of all the people So to actually say that um, the, the, the 12 tribe of Israel The most I do away with them That's a lie Let us get some more meat on that Give me Romans chapter 11 And start with 1 Yeah 11 and 1 Romans chapter 11 Romans chapter 11 Verse 1 I said death 
Of the most I cast away is people. Of the most I cast away is people. God forbid. No, the most I have never cast away is you understand? When I say cast away, it means to do away with them. No. The Mosai turned his back on us at the point in time that we was going against the Mosai. It go back to Deuteronomy 28. Right? But the Mosai have never cast us away. And we're going to prove that to you. Go ahead. For I also am an Israelite. Yep. Of the seed of Abraham. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Mm -hmm. right. Read on. Most I have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Which he foreknew. So the Most I always for Israel. You understand? The Most I conquered out of the nations for us. You understand? Because Paul said, hey, I myself am a Benjamite. You understand? The Most I have never cast us away. So I don't know what Bible these devils preaching from and I could understand that they don't have the, the understanding because the most I never give them the understanding uh, all right bring it out up Jeremiah 51 verse 5 uh-huh for Israel have not been forsaken for what for Israel have not been forsaken are we gonna get into all of that and debunk those lies Lord Judah of his God our Lord Judah of his power you understand oh. So the Most High always with, with Israel, right? The Most High is always with Yasharalam. He casts away the tutor, like I mentioned earlier. Go ahead, huh? of the of the Lord of all. Uh huh. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Can you understand? We sinned. We went off. That is how we end up with these curse on us. All right. Go ahead. Give me some more. In hey, Romans. Romans 11 verse 2. Uh huh. The most I have not cast away his people, which he for you. Go ahead. Wrote he not what the scriptures say mm -hmm. said of Elias? Yep. Are we making intercession for the most I against Israel? Come, go ahead. Say, Lord, they have killed thy prophet. Yeah. And dig down deep. Dig down thy altar. Mm -hmm. And I am left. Alone, right, and they see my life, yeah, because this happened in, in with Elijah, right? What he was doing, they were killing our own people, were killing our prophets because they didn't want to hear the truth. You understand? They want you to tell them smooth things, you understand? So, they was they, they break down our the, the most high altar and build up altar for Baal, you understand? But the most I see, you have never forsaken them. Read on. But what said the answer of the Mosai unto him? What said the Mosai? What did he say the answer? Go ahead. I have reserved for thy myself 7,000 men. Hey, and 7,000 just mean completion. You understand? It doesn't mean 7,000. 7, no, I don't mean that. It means 7,000 men. There's a seed. There, there, there's, it means it's seal. There's a numbers of number of men which is supposed which should be 144,000 chosen men according to Revelation chapter 7. Right? And what we, we receive from? From the, the mark, which is tough. Right? And it means to be exempt, exempt from death. You understand? Go back to um, Ezekiel chapter um, I think it's 9 and 4. You understand? We are exempt from death. You understand? The most I show us mercy. Go ahead, huh? He said, but what said this answer of the most I on to him? Uh -huh. I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed their knees to the image of God. Go ahead. Even so then, at this time, at this present, at this present, right? So at this present time, the most I still have 7,000 men that he, he secured for himself. Go ahead. Even at this time, also there is a remnant. There's a what? A remnant. A remnant. According to the election. According to the grace. According to the election. Right? When you check up this word election, you go back to electos, which is the, the Greek word. Right? It means chosen, a chosen set of men. 
right? Now, look at this. We're gonna debunk these lights. Now, give me um, give your precept. Yeah. Bring your precept. Right? These are just lies of these, these, these so-called pastors and, and, and leaders, your leaders. Your po political leaders being telling lies. Right? Because today they know what they're doing and they know who are the true evil Israelites. But they're coming down on us because we're telling you, they're telling you the truth. That's what we said. Bring it out there. Isaiah 9 verse 6. Uh -huh. For the leaders of these people cause them to err. God. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Are destroyed. Because every when you when you follow this 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 wicked ass leader, you you automatically will be destroyed. The scriptures say, if a blind leader blind, the boat shall fall into a ditch. You understand? Go ahead. God. Isaiah 10 verse 21, uh -huh. the remnant shall re return, even the remnant of Jacob, even the remnant of Jacob, which is Israel, unto the mighty power, unto, unto the Mosa. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, uh -huh. yet a remnant of them shall return. So yet a remnant of them will return. And who is the remnant? The remnant are, are the 144 chosen men, according to the scripture, which we which we're going to get into. All right. Yeah. It says the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. God. All right. So it all starts with the 144,000 men. It all starts with us. Because we, we, right now, we are practicing the most high law statute and commandment in this wicked ass kingdom. Or I should say, queen now. Alright? Where are you? Have a nice pizza? Give me, um. Give me Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, um. 28 and 1. Alright? Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Read that. And it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou shalt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Go ahead. to observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Go on, read on. that the hour thy God will set thee on high above all nations. Above all nations. Hey, we were, we were, above, we were above all nations. But before we break the law, statute, and commandment, hey, the most I, he, he, he cast us away as a people. But he kept 700 men, 144,000 men for himself. That's what it said in Romans that um, 7,000 men have not bowed his, their knee to Baal. You understand? He kept back a remnant, right? Even to this day. That that that, uh, that the uh, Mo, that the most I tell Moses is still happening today, right? Now that was a warning, and the as you read from from um, two to fourteen, it's blessed. But we went away from those laws, statutes, and commandments. We went away from the Mosai. So did he do away with us? Let us see what the scriptures say. You have a precept. Jeremiah 16 verse 12. Uh huh. Verse 11. Then shall thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, uh -huh. said the Lord, and have walked after other gods, yep. and have served them, and have worshipped them, God. and have forsaken me, uh -huh. and have not kept my love. Yep. And ye have done worse than your father. Woo! We for, are. For behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart. God. That they may not act unto me. Yep. Therefore will I cast you out of this land mm. into a land that ye know not. This this is the commandment. Because when 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 Moses got the law, the Mo Moses tell them, listen, hey, if y'all don't keep this law. This law, statute, commandment of the Mosai, 
the most high is going to destroy you. Right? So what happened? This, this, this so-called leaders taking it and run with it, but they did not dissect the scripture. It's because they do not have the understanding. You understand? So the most I said, they, they have taken they my altar. They, they, we got the last part? Therefore will I cast you out of this land. Right, you see, you're going to cast out the land because what? You went against the Mosa. And to, be, to go against the Mosa, that means you choose death. Well, you say, into a land that you know not. God. Neither he nor your father. And there shall ye serve other gods. Mm -hmm. Day and night. Whether I will not show you favor. God, he said he would cast you away into other lands. When did this happen? Did this really happen? Did the Most High do away with his people? Give me Deuteronomy um, 28 and give me four, um, 64. Did this happen? Yes, it did happen. But at the end of the day, what we're saying, according to the scripture, the Most High kept back a remnant for itself. What do you have there? 28 and, and 4 is um, 64. The back of what you just read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Scatter you among all people. And this is what happened. Right? This is what happened. So this is debunking the lies that but our people is among the old Lord. Our people is among the old Lord. So the most I never do away with us. We don't. <laughs> Say, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh -huh. From the from the end of the earth, even on the unto the other. Unto the other. And, right. and their dogs shall serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Mm -hmm. Even wood and stone. And this is what happening today. Look at our people. Look at the so-called Negro, Latino, and, and Native of America. Right? The native. What they're doing? They're serving other gods. Every other god of the, the every other nation of their god. But look at look at look at our people. You would find some some in, in, in Buddhism, some being Muslim, some some in, in Christianity. You know, you you find them you find them in different different idol worshiping. So the most I said will scatter you. You understand? So did we scatter? Yes, we were scattered, but we was not destroyed. Look at this. Give me um now we said bring it out. Well you see the Lord scattered us among every nation mm -hmm. to fulfill prophecy. Because everything was ordained from the beginning. God. So everything that is written has to be fulfilled. Yep. So in order to gather us, the Lord has to scatter us. God. And at this point of time, scattering. God. This is Jeremiah talking. Don't bother that. No, you were there on the topic, huh? Jeremiah talking for a street. What? For lo, the days come, said the Lord, mm -hmm. that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel God. and Judah, said the Lord, uh -huh. and I will cast them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, God. and they shall possess it. Right. So that means that he had to scatter them first in order to bring them back. All right. Yeah, more on that. Verse eight. Thus said the Lord. Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent, uh -huh. and have mercy on his dwelling place. God. And the city shall be built upon her own heap, and the places shall remain after the, the manner thereof. God. Right? So the Mosa is going to bring us back together. Right? And we're going to rebuild again. But I don't want to jump off the topic. I want you to get the next scripture for me. We're going to get back to the same scripture. Right? Because I have that line up too. Right? You jump back to um, Deuteronomy 28 for me. Right? Still debunking the lies that, that they, they were saying. Because once we were scattered, we're going to be gathered. Right? Give me um, um read the seven for me. Yeah. Right? 
In, in, in the captivity, in the scattering, like um, 64 say, this this is what our even our king, King David, is going to end, um, end up serving other gods. Because, because it's the captivity, our king, because the, the most I have set, there's an order set up, which is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles, and, and it go on. You understand? It's an order in, in, in heaven. All right? When I say heaven, I'm talking about on earth. You understand? It's on earth we're talking about. Right? Because Israel is upon the earth. This is not talking about no spiritual Israel. You understand? This is talking about a true people that are living up today upon the face of the earth. Alright? No, give me some more. Let's, let's say, uh, have a precept. Yeah, go ahead. Jeremiah 30 verse 8. You want that one? No, I, want, I want to jump in it. Yeah. yeah, I know I know the scripture going on, bro. 37 yards. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, uh -huh. and a byword. And this is what things happen, right? A byword. Like calling yourself, somebody calling you a nigga. Calling you native of America. That is not our name. Those were names they put on us, like Spanish. That, that's, 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 not, that's never our, our, our biblical name, our nationality, according to the scripture. Right? We, we are royal people. We are kings and, and, and princes. You understand? Yasharala. Yasharala. You understand? We are, we are for the most side. Right? Um, so, so, that is why we lost our, our heritage. Because they beat these things out of us. You understand? And we end up in this different land. It has to come to pass. This is prophecy, according to the scripture, that we will serve wood and stone. You understand? We will go against the Mosai. You understand? But the Mosai is bringing us back. Now, how could he bring back Israel if Israel is, is do away with? Come on. Israel was always here. We are known in the scripture. Our next word is reject. We are the reject one. You understand? Reject by who? Not the more side. We are reject by, by this other nation. They know who we are. You understand? Continue. Huh? Deuteronomy 28 verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, yep. and a byword yep. among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Whether the Lord shall lead us. So we, 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 we acknowledge that we, we will... Uh, just to top it up, just to top it up. Just read, um, read 48, uh, read 48, read 48. Alright, read 48. Just to top it up, uh, let these people, let, let Yasharala know that we were the people. This is talking about us. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, 48. We don't. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Uh -huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God. In hunger. Uh -huh. And in thirst. Go ahead. And in nakedness. Mm -hmm. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron on, on, upon thy neck. And who was the people this happened to? This happened to the so called Negro, Latino. Or a native of America. You understand? These things happen to the 12th tribe of Israel. You understand? This is what happened to us. They, they, they like to say that our, um, the so called white people was in uh, captivity too. But the scripture said that our, we would go back on ship. Which, 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 which other nation ever was put a yoke of iron upon their neck and was transferred from one. One um one one country to our next country in chains. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. You understand? Uh, Which yeah. part did that ever happen? 
or to who it ever happened to. But it happened to us. You understand? The 12 tribe of Israel. We are today on the, this earth. We are today right now. I could watch Yasharala walking up and down. They don't even know who they are. So these lies, these, 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 these so-called leaders and, and pastors, we're supposed to be, 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 the, 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 be looking after the flock or the Mosai, they're just lying. And that's why the Mosai set up us, set up us out, out here to debunk these lies. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, you're still in 48. It said, until you have destroyed me. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, jump down to 46. Verse 46. Uh huh. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Go ahead. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a what? For a sign. So it is upon us for a sign. Because we, 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 we still keep being called nigger. Right? When you really check it out, nigger is not a bad word. All it means is dark. Or what, what people would say, black. That's all it means. It's not an insult. Yeah, where that? Speak. I'm where I call it. Hey, shall I bracket it up? And there shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. What do you need to man? I'm still on the list. Speak up. And do the work right now. Yeah. You know, it says that these curses will be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. You know, because. Our people don't know why they were put in slavery because they were discontinued from the heritage. Alright? Due to prophecy. And they don't know who they are. So whatever the so-called white man, who was the one that put them in slavery, says to them, or whatever doctrine he gives to them, mm -hmm. that is what they follow. Alright? But there's this fellow by the name of uh, I eat a my fella. Alright, later he come he's been bringing out a set of books saying that you know, writing his own script on what how the war was created. Alright? And saying that we want they want the, the, the Bible to go extinct. So if they, by writing their own creation and how the war was create, created mm. due to science and all of these different evolution, all right, they're trying to make the scriptures extinct. And why is that? You know, because they don't want you to know who you are. They don't want the Latinos, the natives, and the so-called Negroes to know that they are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. But that would never happen. The Lord said, if, if the moon passed away and the sun, then will I do away with Israel. All right? And the moon and the sun forever obeying the Mosai. Right. So the Mosai wouldn't destroy them. Right. Yeah. So, we, what, what, like the brother said, is lies. And they're trying to, to, to actually, to, to what? To, to make the Bible look like it's not accurate, yeah. but this scripture is a hundred percent accurate. All right. Now, still, look, give me back um, first Second Corinthians chapter four and two because it is lies. We are debunking these lies. Right. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2. Mm -hmm. But I have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Uh -huh. Not walking in craftiness. Not walking in handling the word of the most high deceitfully. Right, so now we're handling the word deceitfully and we renounce the lies. Right? We renounce in the lies that hey, Israel is still upon the earth today. Alright? Because they okay, let me show you this. Let us go to um Revelation. Um, Revelation 7 now, start at 1, right? Because it's a lie. Because it's so cool.